Hey everyone, hope you're having a great week. My name is Kate Willis and I'm here to teach you how to be a boss lady or hey, at least dress like one. So I have to give props to my good friend, Dr. Tom Bernacki for inspiring me and giving me that nudge I needed to start this channel. As someone who has been in business for almost two decades, it's hard to believe, and worn many hats, everything from sales to marketing to advocacy, leadership, consulting, uh, Broadway producing. I've learned so much along the way, along my journey, and I have so much to share. And as much as I try to give back and mentor one by one, whether it's through an employee resource group or other volunteer opportunities, hey, what's a bigger way to get to the masses than through social media and YouTube? So the one thing I get asked about probably more than anything is about fashion and fashion in business. So I'm hoping I can give you some great tips to make you a boss lady or at least look like one. So tip number one, it's pretty easy. Hire a fantastic stylist. Okay, I know that's not super realistic. We all don't have amazing friends like Ivy, like I do, who is a celebrity stylist, kind human being, and can make my life easier and teach me a lot of things along the way. Although I am amazed at how many executive women do not have a stylist. If you don't and you can afford one, I say hire one immediately. It will make your life so much easier. But for those of us that live in the real world, let's teach you how to be your own stylist. So I want to provide you some quick little tips that can help you when you are packing for that business trip. You've got to go to a sales meeting. You want to look buttoned up, but you don't want to pack three suitcases and look high maintenance. My mother always said, you don't take more than you can personally carry. So that is the goal. And we are going to get you set up for success so that when you go on your trips, you can focus on being the best you and not worry about what you're wearing to that meeting. So let's get started. Every year I have about three to four meetings that are held in Las Vegas. So let's take a look at how I pack when I'm traveling to a three-day conference in Vegas. The first thing I do is complete my trip summary and I will list out the meeting type. In this case, it's a society conference. The location, which will be at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. The meeting attendees, which will be a mix of vendors, customers, as well as colleagues. I want to check out the temperature, see what the weather's looking like in Vegas, and then also explore what my workout options are because I've got to be prepared and I know that I have to fit fitness into my routine while I'm there at the conference. Okay, now for the fun stuff. Let's get into the outfits. For day one, I know I'm going to be traveling by plane on the way to Vegas. So I want something that is casual, comfortable, paired with sneakers. I'm going to do jeans, but I want something a little more elevated because I know that I may run into customers, clients, other colleagues while I'm traveling out on the plane. I'm also including a second look on day one because there's a possibility of a business dinner later that evening. I'm going to keep the same jacket just to keep things super simple, but elevate the look with the leather pants and leather bodysuit. Remember, when you're taking pictures of your outfits, always include the accessories like small handbags, as well as shoes and jewelry. Day two is really when the conference gets started. So for me, I'm going to pair a simple blue skirt with a pump, blouse, and a great Gucci blazer that I found at the Gucci outlet before it sadly went out of business. Today will be one of those marathon days as I'll transition from my professional attire to my evening wear as I get ready for dinner with customers. So this evening, I'm going to pair a black 
laser dress by Alice and Olivia, put on a fun belt, and of course, it's Friday night in Vegas, so you have to accessorize with fun jewelry and a vintage handbag I have had for a number of years. I'm going to complete the outfit with an amazing pair of shoes I picked up at Sloan Boutique, which is owned by my good friend Ivy. If you ever are in Cincinnati, Ohio, stop by Sloan Boutique and say hi to Ivy. Day three is really a repeat of day two, except it falls on a Saturday. So I'm going to do a cream blouse, cream pants with a neutral pump so I can achieve that monochromatic look and then top it off with a pink Zara blazer. It's Saturday night in Las Vegas, so it's time to turn up the heat with this fiery red bash dress. Notice I've repeated the same Sloan shoes and my vintage handbag, but I also have the option of using my other handbag and Gucci pumps for a totally different look. I like to have both footwear options depending on how my feet are feeling by this time of the conference. Okay. So we've made it to day four and it's time to travel home. I'm just going to be waking up, getting dressed and jumping on a plane. So I'm going to wear the same jeans that I had on when I traveled out to the conference, a nice comfy sweatshirt and my sneakers. This way I can be nice, relaxed and comfortable on my flight home. This process may seem like a lot when you're just getting started or seem overwhelming because there's so much to do on the front end and you haven't even left yet for your trip. But I promise it only gets easier the more that you do it and the more that you do it, you will understand how much more you can focus on being your best self at a meeting. A few simple reminders as you are preparing for your trip. Keep your color palette consistent. You wanna stay in the same color family, whether that's blacks, blues, grays, cream, whatever that may be. When taking photographs of your outfits, make sure you capture complete looks. It's so much easier if you've already selected appropriate jewelry, belts, accessories, and small handbags. And finally, I have to throw in the last reminder for my dear friend, Carla, who constantly forgets her charger, whether it's for an iPhone or a laptop. She always manages to find herself without the appropriate electronic charger. So always remember to pack those. Here are some of my favorite looks from the Vegas conference we just styled. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. I hope you found this video to be useful and you picked up a few tips and tricks along the way. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to send me any questions, comments, or ideas on what you'd like to see in my next video. That's it for now. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you become a boss lady.